For nearly a thousand years, the fortifications on Elan Donan have survived Viking invasions, interclan warfare, Jacobite sieges, and destruction by a government warship. Elan Donan Castle is located on the rugged west coast of Scotland, at the meeting point of three sea lochs by the picturesque village of Dorney. Standing beside the main tourist route to the Isle of Skye, it is the most photographed castle in Scotland, but its current appearance belies its turbulent history and the fact that it was a ruin for almost 200 years. The name Elan Donan, or Donan's Island, dates back to the 7th century when an Iron Age fort stood on the spot. In 1220, a strong castle was built here by King Alexander II to deter Viking invasion. Ownership passed to the Mackenzies of Seaforth, who appointed their allies, the Macrays, as constables. In 1539, a long-standing feud between the Mackenzies and the Macleods of Dunvegan came to a head when Donald Gorm MacDonald claimed the title Lord of the Isles and attacked the castle with 50 galleys of war. MacDonald was famously killed by a single arrow fired by Duncan MacRae, valiantly protecting the castle. Ever after, Clan MacRae has been referred to as Mackenzie's shirt of mail. In 1715, when the castle was garrisoned by Spanish troops on behalf of the British government, it was successfully besieged by the Jacobite Mackenzies. But in 1719, Seeking revenge, the government sent a warship to bombard the castle, leaving it in ruins. Elandonan lay in ruins for nearly 200 years, until in 1911 it was bought by a Macrae who set about its restoration. The reconstruction, including the first bridge to the island, took 21 years. Then, in 1983, the castle was handed over to the Clan Macrae Trust, which still looks after it. Today, this most scenic of Scottish castles houses a notable collection of Jacobite, Mackenzie and Macrae memorabilia in a charming domestic setting. It is well worth a visit. <laughs>